we're back outside doing a moon update six days after I made the last video that was on the 1st of January 2018 it was a full moon and it was meant to be a super moon and I've got to say it was quite bright but we were getting some outstanding results with temperatures 45 degrees and plus that on the plus side that is not negative values and that really makes no sense to me because the moon is 230,000 miles away how is that at all possible I would expect to see a thermal imprint on the camera and that's exactly what we get but we get to see that spinning and I've analyzed that footage and I've come up with some amazing bits and pieces which I will show you and that makes no sense <laughs> figure here 70 watt yeah it's just keeps on changing and it's a bit lower than what it was when we were taking the video on the 1st of January So when something becomes extremely consistent, especially on a thermal camera, it really starts to make me wonder what we're looking at. And I don't believe that for a second is our moon. <laughs> something that's spinning in front of our moon and Pac-Man again right I need to just sum this up I'm looking at something that's artificial and the reason I'm going to say what I'm going to say and my diagnosis of this is because we're using a thermal camera and a the thermal camera works on heat you can't get abnormalities the picture is built up of different heat signatures so on a thermal camera, for these objects to be here consistently, time after time, in the same place, that means... that they're there I'll be looking at some sort of alien technology because when people say to me well I can see the moon when I look at it through the telescope or I can see the Sun I can't see no objects well I've shown you how they hide them credit goes out to the University of Rochester for this clip I believe that this is going to show a similar sort of technology that they're using but uh, a more advanced system <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
how to hide something under your nose right in plain sight so basically when you're looking at the moon that's all you would get to see and the same for the sun if there was an object in place this now will demonstrate to you how they're hiding it I believe by the use of mirrors and lenses and I've shown the lens system that's in place and I've shown the mirror system that's in place basically what you're looking at is misdirection optical illusion <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.